Yeah, hi there. This is uh, tuxacher.com and in the today's little video, we want to take a look at the Tether app Q Q DSLR dashboard again, which now is ready in version 3.5.2. The app costs uh, 9 euros 47 in the Google Play Store. It's not quite cheap, but as you can see here, uh, the app supports more than one camera brand. Okay, I mounted a standard Canon 5D Mark II and we try to connect via USB. Okay, here we got the live view of the new app. And uh, first of all, we want to go a little bit through the controls. Here you can, of course, change the F number or the ISO. We just leave it at ISO 200, that's good enough. You could input uh, exposure correction and the white balance, of course. You can move this little rectangle, like to this point, press AF and the app will focus to this point. Now you almost done to take your first picture you hear the exposure and the picture is downloaded and displayed here in this case on my tablet which was the 25 MB file sizes of the raw images this takes a little while okay that is the image we quit this one go back to the live view QDSLR dashboard of course has a sort of interval timer for doing time lags, but this is not of our interest today. We just switch here so we can see other controls which are important to do a focus stack. At first we go here to the, to me at least, nearest part of the flower switch to a five time enlargement and now we focus back with those controls down here okay that should be almost it and you see here uh, the two numbers one and two we just take the one and hold it a little bit longer so the number turns red that means the app has saved this focus point Okay, we go back to the regular live view and go somewhere like here. Enlarge it again and focus to this point with those controls. You can even go a little bit further. If you do a focus stack, you can skip some images if you render them together in Photoshop or Helicon Focus or other software tools. Okay, that looks good. Back to regular view. And now if we tap on Focus tab, we get some other controls. First of all, we could here choose the direction from the closest point to the farthest. And we could define or change the number of images the camera should take and here we have the focus step which means the distance of focus between every image and we could define a delay between all the images but now we use we go back you forgot the focus step two Go here, hold it a little bit longer, go back, go focus stack, okay, and now we can define where he walks to the depth of field. We now take here focus point one, and on the farthest point, focus point two, and we are almost already set. And he already tells me that 
with a medium focal step you would take 18 pictures to walk through this image. I won't do this in the video because that would uh, be a little bit boring but uh, taking those images and take heli Helicon Focus software the stack looks pretty good. Okay, that was my little tutorial for doing focus stacks with QDSLR dashboards. The app is not quite cheap, but if you own more than one camera or one camera brand, and if the cameras are supported, this might be the better app for doing time lapse or focus stacks. And he has built in support for LR time lapse and other stuff too. Okay, that was my little tutorial. If you have any questions, just place them in the comments. Till the next time, ciao, tux ochen.